Hello friends, this is Troy Livingston um, on Facebook. We have Reactor 4, not all what you expected. I uh, quickly put this together today uh, showing some concerns that uh, I have and some discrepancies with uh, what TEPCO is saying. So uh, I'm putting it on video. It's already in one of my notes but I'm putting it on video because things go missing on Facebook all the time. Uh, this is Reactor 4 and you see how it's steaming into the atmosphere this is reactor 3, this is reactor 2, this is reactor 1. Reactor 1 was the first to go and melt down and it's not steaming now though it has melted and exploded. Uh, reactor 3 is still steaming from the core. So I'll go a little slower so that uh, people can read this if they pause it and you can see well, here again is uh, reactor 4, reactor 3, reactor 2. We see steam bellowing out, but what I want to note is that the steam is coming from reactor 4 right here, and this wall is not collapsed. Reactor 3 exploded before reactor 4 did. Okay, so here is another view of reactor 4, reactor 3, reactor 2, and reactor 1. This is the turbine buildings. Here are the trenches in the, that are uh, uh, full of radioactive water that is leaking directly into the ocean. Anyways, what I'm showing you is reactor 4 has a concave wall right here and a fuel mass or a melted mass that has flowed out of the north wall. This is the north side. This is the south side. This is the spent fuel. You can see steam rising from the spent fuel side. Now here's reactor 1. It's already melted down and no steam visible. Reactor 2 is melting and we can see steam coming out of the window. Reactor 3, there's just so much steam here you can't even see down. And then here's reactor 4. The wall is concaved. Concaved right out and all this is damaged here on the north side. The south side is where the reactor spent fuel pool is. Here's the molten mass. It's a gold color. It's flowing out of the north wall of reactor 4. Uh, my theory is, and the black smoke as well, you can see the black smoke bellowing up here um, from reactor 4. Black smoke is indicative of melting, melting fuel and it's why they evacuated reactor 3 later this month or later in March, early April because they saw the steam changed from white and then it turned into black smoke and they evacuated. And Anyways, this gold color is the what I'm thinking is coming from the equipment pool which is located on the north wall and is why this is all buckled because of the intense heat of the nine hour fi fire it had now here we can see the wall is the north wall is heavily damaged here we know it wasn't from reactor 3 reactor 3 had already exploded before reactor 4 exploded reactor 4 exploded after they say the theory, what TEPCO says is the hydrogen gas from reactor 3 flowed into reactor 4 causing the explosion in reactor 4 but how is that possible when reactor 3 was so heavily damaged? There, I know they show pictures of pipes and stuff but from when you go up to the top the amount of steam we see bellowing off of, re off of reactor uh, 4 here uh, cannot be done by that tiny little pipe that, it, that is connected here and it, there's just no way that a little pipe can create this much steam it's definitely melting down inside so this golden mass looks exactly like the Chernobyl golden mass that they found down in the basement we'll get to that soon so here's reactor 3, you see reactor 2 steaming, reactor 3 steaming and reactor 4 this is by satellite imagery on March the 17th. Now here's another view of reactor 4 over here. This is the spent fuel pool side facing south. And we have reactor 3 with a heavy steam bellowing out. Reactor 2, some steam bellowing out. And reactor 1. Reactor 1 melted down first uh, before the tsunami even hit. And 
it exploded and we see no steam coming from it. Exactly what I think has happened over here at the equipment pool on reactor 4. It had fully melted down and there's no more steam being released as we saw as we see over here in reactor 1. There's no more steam. Full meltdown. Now this is yellow smoke and steam being seen from reactor 4 spent fuel pool. This is uh, indicative of plutonium, I believe. The yellow is from the plutonium. Here is a zoom of reactor 4, north wall. We see the molten mass out, melted out onto this vent pipe here. It is now black, and this is uh, two days later. Oh, let's see. Yeah, two days later, and it's the 18th now. It has cooled, and uh, all this damage, I believe, is from the heat, the intense heat on this side of the building. Now this this contradicts what TEPCO is saying because TEPCO says there is only 1500 plus fuel assemblies inside reactor 4 spent fuel pool. They say reactor 4 was shut down. Yes it was. We can see that. There's no cap. There's no core lid uh, on the containment or the core. Uh, but it, not to say it wasn't full of fuel. I think there was fuel in the core and there was fuel in the equipment pool and the spent fuel pool. So here we have the equipment pool would be over here, the core would be right here, and the spent fuel pool is over here. We see steam because there's still water and it's boiling. So seeing steam is a good thing. We know that there's water there. Once the steam goes away, that's when it's bad. And we can see the melted molten mass out of the north wall of reactor 4 and the most damage the lowest damage and is all on this side of the wall right here now we can see the containment lid it's moved off the core the core would be right about here and it's the containment lid is moved over uh, this would be where the equipment pool is and we can see that this is all mangled, all mangled on this side, and this is all folded in. Now, if this exploded, this should be pushed outwards, but it's not pushed outwards. It's pushed in. And how would all this metal get bent like this? It's from the intense heat that would have been generated from a meltout from the molted, molted mass that flowed out of this wall right here. Now we're getting into March the 20th. These are the drone flyovers. Okay, this is reactor 4 right here. Okay, so this is the buckled wall. We can see a heat signature all through from south to north. There is fuel in here or else there wouldn't be such predominant heat signatures. We can see the crane above the spent fuel pool here. That's why we have, that's why it's all white because the crane's in right over top of it. But we can see that there is definitely high heat signature in the spent fuel pool. Um, but there's also uh, the core, which is hot. This is just the turbine building. Now here's reactor 4 again and uh, there's a swing pump, concrete pump, pumping water over to the spent fuel pool, trying to save the spent fuel pool because the north side of the wall, the north side is lost. We have some steam rising up here in the center where the core is um, and you can see the melted blob out of the north side. We are looking west. Here's another thermal image. This is reactor four right here. Okay, so this is the turbine building. So we are up here would be west, and this would be north, and this would be south. This would be the spent fuel pool. That would be the crane over top of the spent fuel pool. This would be the core and the equipment pool. So TEPCO is lying to us. There was fuel inside the core at reactor four. Well, here we go again. We got, you see how this is all folded in? 
If this exploded, because most of the damage is on the side of the building, it would have broke away all this. This wouldn't be like this. It's all, it's all imploded. It's folded in on itself because of the nine-hour fire it had here in this. And I know the FOA documents say that the reactor four spent fuel pool and there was a big fire. They had to evacuate. But maybe they meant the equipment pool had a big fire. And the equipment pool... They had to evacuate because of the equipment pool was melting down and catching fire. Because at early on, in this, when they were writing all those emails in the FOA documents, they there was no one around to tell them exactly what was going on. They 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 knew there was a fire here. They 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 staked their life on it, but all the pictures showed there was water in Reactor Four, and this side they were just quiet about. They didn't mention anything about this in the heat signatures. And we can see steam rising up from the core here. So again, here's reactor four. Okay, so here's the concave wall here. Here's the spent fuel pool right here. And this is the crane over the spent fuel pool. This is the core and this is the equipment pool on this side which melted, which I think was lost. That's why we don't see it right to the end of the wall because it was lost and the melted, the melted molten mass flowed out of the wall. Here's a very clear picture. This is reactor four right here. You can see the building reactor four. This wall's pushed in right here. This is the crane over reactor four, spent fuel pool, that's what the square is, is the spent fuel pool. Then we have the core, which is this circle right here, right? And then we have the, the equipment pool, which is located on the north side of the reactor. And I believe that it breached right here. And you can see this is the lower floor. This would be the floor above it. And this is the lower floor. And it's showing a heat signature down in the lower floor below. And that's where it melted out. This was in March 31st, 2011. That's the equipment, common spent fuel pool. Here's reactor four again. You can see there's the spent fuel pool, there's the core, and there's the equipment pool, all showing heat signatures. And that was on April the 16th. So now here we're looking at the security camera on reactor 4 before it exploded. We know that the reactor cap was off. The reactor cap would sit right over here. And you can see glowing in there too. You see the glowing? Anyways, the and this is the containment cap. The containment cap would go right over, right over all this and be sealed. And this is the, the spent fuel pool. And the equipment pool would just be over here on this side. We can't see it because this crane, this fueling crane, which was located over the spent fuel pool when it exploded, um, is, is blocking the view. And now this is a picture from... 2012, I believe, maybe early, yeah, 2012, I believe. So you see all this black? This is in, this is in the core. This is in the well. The core would be located in here, and it's all full of water. And we can see the black, black signature from a fire, as they did have something burn in it. And you can see the containment cap right here, and then this is the, uh, the rigger for lifting off the. Uh, the reactor core cap. So this is the the building, an outline of the building. You can see where everything is on here. Um, this the, all the heat. If we look at the heat signatures, we got the crane, which is sitting over the spent fuel pool, and we can see the heat coming out from the spent fuel pool, right? This is all from the spent fuel pool here and here. 
but we can't see it here because there's a big metal crane over it so it looks cold. Um, here is the core and the containment. So we can see a definite, definitely a heat signature here and this contradicts what TEPCO says there is no fuel in the core and this is the equipment pool right here. Uh, you can see the heat signature here as well then there's part of the floor the the fourth floor is in the way here but you can see there's a hole in the floor and you can see the heat coming out this is where uh, the molted mass flowed out of the north wall right here well that that was a zoom let you read that was a zoom and now this is uh, this picture is out a little more so you can see clearly the building structure around reactor 4. You can see this is the north wall and we can see the core and the spent fuel pool and the equipment pool. Now obviously TEPCO in the nuclear industry is lying about losing the fuel here and just making it about the spent fuel pool which was able they were able to save. This picture is from Chernobyl in 1986 that exploded. This, uh, this is the molten mass that flowed out. Uh, it's gold color, just like it was on March the 16th in Fukushima when it, when it flowed out of Reactor 4 North Wall. It was gold. And two, two days later, it was black. Well, if you go there now and look at Chernobyl in the basement, this elephant foot uh, is black. It's not gold anymore. So this is reactor 4 spewing steam up into the atmosphere. Uh, reactor 4 was split, it was split into six equal sizes. So you can see that it's coming from 3 and 4 right here. This would have been where the spent fuel pool is. And this would have been where the uh, equipment pool was. Now if we compare the one, two, three, four, five, six sections of reactor four with the building outline here, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, just like these six right here, splitting it up, and we can see that the core is directly under three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Steam billowing up. So there was definitely something coming out of the, the middle of the building. Um, this is the spent fuel pool. You see how deep it is? This, this, wouldn't have, this wouldn't have lost water. This would have lost water last. And then the, the core, which is really deep down to here. So this would have been all filled with water. And then the equipment pool. The equipment pool is directly flush with the bottom of this where the containment cap is. So reactor, so this equipment pool would have been lost uh, first and it's what melted down and came out of the wall uh, right here onto the vent pipe that would have been right here outside and this all buckled because this burned and this all fell in because of the intense heat of this pool drying up and burning and melting down which TEPCO has not admitted to And this is the this is the end of it. I tried to explain it as uh, best I could. Anyhow, thank you for listening.